Hi, boys and girls. Today I have a story for you that requires you to use your sense of sight. And this is a story that Akessa let me borrow. It is called Secrets of the Seashore, a shine a light book. <gasps> that means I need a flashlight because when I shine it on the pages, images will appear. Here we go. By Karen Brown and Alyssa Nasner. Secrets of a Seashore. A tide pool is bustling with life. If you look closely between the rocks, beneath the fronds of seaweed, and on the sandy bed, you will see the animals living there. Shine a flashlight behind the page or hold it up to the light to reveal what is hidden in and around the tide pool. Discover a small world of great surprises. A tide pool is a hollow on the seashore. Can you see what happens when the tide comes in and it fills up with water? Let's find out. <gasps> Do you see that? Wow. It fills up with sea life. Whoosh. The seawater flows in with the tide and fills the tide pool. Creatures that live in the seawater have waited for the tide pool to fill. What's hiding in these shells? Let's find out. Ooh, look at the bubbles coming out. Bubble, bubble. Mussels. Mussels keep their blue shells tightly shut while the tide is out. Now they open their shells and begin to feed these little gushy creatures with the bubbles. Creatures cling to the rocks around the tide pool. What could live in shells like these? Hmm. Let's shine our light through and find out. Barnacles come to life in the water. They reach their feathery legs to wave tiny pieces of food in their mouth. Flutter, flutter. Other creatures are waking up too. What are these jewel-like animals? Hmm. Whoa, do you see what's coming off of them? Little like wigglers. Stretch. Two sea anemones are searching for food with their long, wriggly tentacles. They eat small fish and shrimp. Dark nooks under rocks make perfect hiding place, places. Can you see who is resting there? Let's see. <gasps> Who's under there? We see the front of his body. There's the back of it. Under there, he's under the rocks. <gasps> click, click, a crab holds up its pinchers, ready to grab a little bite to eat. The crab is on the move, but there's another hunter nearby. <gasps> Let's see who it is. Whoa, what does that leg belong to? It belongs to a... A starfish. A starfish uses suckers on its underside to hold on to the rock. Another animal with suckers is resting in the tide pool. Can you count its eight arms? <gasps> what has eight arms? Let's see. <gasps> Whoa. An octopus has eight long arms. There is an animal hiding in the sand. Only its eyes can be seen. What do you think it is? Whoa. 
Splish Splash. A small fish lives in the tide pool. It hides under rocks. Another tide pool creature lives in this large shell. What do you think it could be? There it is. Surprise, a hermit crab has made his home in this empty shell. This whelk is sharing part of the tide pool with small swimming creatures. Can you see them? Let's look. Whoa. Swish! Shrimp move backward by quickly flicking their tails. Something is waving in the water. Which plants live in the sea? Hmm, something's hiding here. Oh, look. It's all these plants. Look at those. Slick and slimy seaweed anchors itself to the rocks and grows in the sun. But what is slithering along the seaweed? A whelk is looking for some other shellfish. <gasps> okay, a sleek sea otter has spotted something. Can you see what it wants for dinner? <gasps> Ooh, what could that be? What is this spiky thing? Ouch! Most animals stay away from those nasty spikes, but a sea urchin is a tasty, crunchy meal for the sea otter. What orange-beaked bird lives on the seashore? Let's see if we can spot the rest of its body. Uh -huh. That is a oyster catcher and it's calling out to other birds. Squawk! Can you see what the oyster catcher has found in the sand? Okay, let's see. Yay! Look, it's a clam! Slowly the tide retreats and with it much of the water in the tide pool and its animals and plants are resting again waiting for the next tide to come in. The end. That was a really cool book. You guys should buy some little shine the light books. They're really cool. I'm gonna have to buy some. All right, have a good rest of your day students and practice using your sight.